Welcome to my channel, where I run through the world of marathons, one mile at a time. Today, I'm diving into the grandeur of the Big Six World Marathons, an arena where passion, perseverance, and sheer determination run the race. From the vibrant streets of Boston to the iconic cityscape of New York, the world of marathons is quite a sight to behold. But ever wondered how one gets to participate in these coveted races? Well, it's more than just lacing up your running shoes. The application process for these marathons can be as thrilling as the race itself, involving ballots, charity runs, and a whole lot of anticipation. So, strap in folks, or rather, lace up your running shoes, because I'm about to take you on a world tour of epic marathons. Ever feel like getting into a major marathon is like winning the lottery? Well, you're not far off. Let's break down the ballot system for each of the big six world major marathons. It's a bit like a game of chance with each marathon having its own unique twist. First up, the Boston Marathon. This one's a bit different. Instead of a random draw, qualification is based on your running times. The faster you are, the better your chances. Each year, about 30,000 runners qualify but only the fastest get to toe the line. Next, the London Marathon. This one's a proper lottery with around 40,000 places up for grabs each year. But here's the kicker. Only about 1 in 13 applicants actually get a spot. That's less than 8%. Over to Berlin now, where the odds are slightly better. With about 40,000 runners each year, you have a 1 in 7 chance of getting in. Still feeling lucky? The Chicago Marathon is a bit of a mixed bag. It has a lottery system, but also offers guaranteed entry to certain runners. Each year, around 45,000 runners participate, but only a fraction get in through the lottery. The New York City Marathon is the world's largest, with a whopping 50,000 runners each year. But with more than 100,000 applicants, your chances are less than 50%. Finally, the Tokyo Marathon. This one's tough, folks. With only about 35,000 spots and a staggering 300,000 applicants each year, your chances are slim. It's like finding a four-leaf clover in a field of shamrocks. So, you're saying there's a chance? Well, yes, but remember, it's a marathon, not a sprint. So, whether you're a seasoned sprinter or a newbie napper, keep those running shoes handy. You never know when it'll be your lucky day. If the lottery isn't your thing, there's another way to secure your spot, and it's for a good cause. Now let's talk about running for charity. It's an alternative path to the starting line of these world-class marathons, and it's a route that's as rewarding as it is challenging. By aligning yourself with a charity, you're not just running for the thrill of the race, you're running to make a difference. Across the globe, there are numerous charities that partner with these marathons, each with their own unique causes. From cancer research to children's hospitals, environmental protection to mental health awareness, there's a cause that will resonate with every runner. Let's take a closer look at some popular charities. There's Team for Kids, which is the New York Roadrunners' premier charity team. Runners who join this team raise funds to support health and fitness programs that serve kids in underserved communities. Then there's the Alzheimer's Society, a UK-based charity that partners with the London Marathon. They're committed to creating a world without dementia, and every stride their runners take is a stride towards that goal. And let's not forget the hundreds of other charities out there, each offering a chance to secure a spot in these coveted races while making a meaningful impact. Now running for charity isn't just about securing a bib, it's about commitment, it's about dedication, not just to the miles you'll be running, but to the cause you'll be representing. It's about rallying your friends, your family, your community to support you in your journey, both as a runner and as a fundraiser. So, if you're looking to take on the challenge of a marathon, why not add an extra layer of meaning to your race? Choose a charity that speaks to your heart, commit to raising funds for them, and earn your spot at the starting line. Not only will you be crossing the finish line, but you'll be making a difference. Talk about a win-win. So, what makes these six marathons so grand that everyone wants to run there? Let's dive in. First up, we've got the Boston Marathon. Now, Boston is not just a marathon, it's a pilgrimage. It's the world's oldest annual marathon, dating back to 1897. Imagine running in the footsteps of legends. Boston's course is point to point, which means you'll be journeying from the quiet town of Hopkinton all the way to downtown Boston. Now the course is not for the faint-hearted. It's known for its challenging rolling hills, including the infamous Heartbreak Hill. But the spirit of the crowd is sure to carry you through. As for post-race festivities, the city of Boston turns into one big celebration with parties and events happening all over town. Next on our list is the London Marathon. The course is flat, 
fast and scenic, winding its way past some of the city's most iconic landmarks, like the Tower Bridge and the Cuddy Sark. But the real magic of London lies in its incredible crowd support. Londoners turn out in droves to cheer, making you feel like a rock star at every mile. And let's not forget the post-race party at the mall, right in front of Buckingham Palace. Now that's a royal treatment. Moving on we have the Berlin Marathon. Known for its super-fast flat course, Berlin is where world records are made. The course takes you through the heart of this vibrant city, past historic sites like the Brandenburg Gate. And the crowd? They're known for their energy and enthusiasm, creating a fiesta-like atmosphere. After the race the city comes alive with music, food and merriment, making it a runner's paradise. Then there's the Chicago Marathon. The Windy City's course is as flat as a pancake, making it perfect for first-timers or those seeking a personal best. The route takes you through 29 diverse neighborhoods, each with its own unique vibe and enthusiastic spectators. And when it comes to post-race festivities Chicago knows how to throw a party. From the official post-race party at Grant Park to celebrations in various neighborhoods there's something for everyone. Next, we head to the Big Apple for the New York City Marathon. The course is challenging, with bridges and hills, but the views are worth it. You'll run through the five boroughs from Staten Island to Central Park, cheered on by over two million spectators. The energy of New York is palpable, and the post-race festivities are as diverse and vibrant as the city itself. Finally, we have the Tokyo Marathon. The course is flat and fast, traversing the heart of this bustling metropolis. From the Imperial Palace to Tokyo Tower, you'll be treated to a visual feast. The Japanese spectators are incredibly supportive, often handing out traditional treats along the route. And when it comes to post-race celebrations, Tokyo offers a blend of traditional and modern festivities, ensuring a unique experience. Each marathon is a world of its own, offering a unique and unforgettable experience. So, you've got your heart set on one of these marathons. Now what? Time to train. Training for a marathon isn't a simple jog in the park, it's a commitment, an uphill battle, and a test of your mettle. But don't worry, I've got some tips to get your marathon journey started on the right foot. First, let's talk about your training plan. Your plan should be as unique as you are. It should take into account your current fitness level, your marathon goals, and the amount of time you have to prepare. Remember, it's not about how fast you can run a marathon, but how well you can run it. Next, consistency is key. Make running a regular part of your routine. Start slow and gradually increase your distance and intensity. Don't be afraid to mix it up with some cross-training activities like swimming or cycling to keep things interesting and to give your running muscles a break. Nutrition is another crucial aspect of your training. A well-balanced diet will fuel your body for those long training runs and help you recover after. Hydration is equally important, especially during those sweaty summer runs. Rest and recovery are just as important as your workouts. Listen to your body. If you're feeling sore or fatigued, take a day off. Your body needs time to repair and strengthen itself after a workout. Overtraining can lead to injuries and burnout, which can derail your marathon dreams. And lastly, remember to have fun. Training for a marathon is a journey, and it's important to enjoy the ride. Celebrate your small victories along the way, like running your first 10 miles or shaving a minute off your mile time. And when the going gets tough, remember why you started. Maybe you're running for a cause close to your heart, or maybe you're running to challenge yourself. Whatever your reason, let it fuel your determination and keep you moving forward. Remember the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, or in this case, a single run. Well, I've made it to the finish line of our marathon discussion. I've dashed through the dizzying details of the ballot breakdown, giving you the inside track on your chances of securing a spot in the big six world major marathons. I've shown you how, even if the odds aren't in your favor, you can still lace up your running shoes and hit the pavement for a good cause, championing charities with every stride you take. I've journeyed together through the magical marathons from the charming streets of Berlin to the bustling avenues of New York and the captivating courses in between. I've delved into the marathon madness, exploring why these races are more than just a run, but a grand spectacle that draws millions of runners from all corners of the globe. The allure of these marathons is undeniable. The challenge they present, the camaraderie they foster, the causes they support, and the sheer joy of running through some of the world's most iconic cities make these events truly one of a kind. So, whether you're an experienced marathoner, a casual jogger, or someone who's just contemplating their first 5K, I hope this video has offered you a glimpse into the grandeur of the world's major marathons. Remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, 
share it with your fellow runners, and subscribe to my channel for more running content. Stay tuned for our next adventure.